Ever wondered why escaping North Korea is like trying to break out of a high security prison? Welcome to our channel. Today, we're talking about the harrowing journey that North Korean defectors undertake for a shot at freedom. So, let's get started. North Korea, a country that's as fascinating as it is isolated. Nestled in the eastern part of Asia, North Korea, or as they like to call it, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, is a land of paradoxes. On one hand, it claims attractive landscapes, ancient temples, and vibrant culture. On the other, it's a nation shrouded in secrecy, known for its strict regime and isolationist policies. Well, it's a place where time seems to have stood still, cut off from the advancements and influences of the outside world. But have you ever wondered what makes this hermit kingdom so impenetrable? Why is it that escaping from North Korea feels like an impossible mission? Well, imagine a border so heavily fortified that it makes the Great Wall of China look like a picket fence. That's the DMZ, or the Demilitarized Zone for you. This 250 kilometer long and 4.4 kilometer wide strip of land is no ordinary border. It's like a symbol of the decades long tension between the North and South Korea. Lined with barbed wire fences, dotted with landmines, and guarded by soldiers ready to shoot on sight. The DMZ is a grim reminder of the Korean War and the division it caused. But still, it's not just the physical barriers that make escape difficult. The area is heavily patrolled by North Korean soldiers, and surveillance is high. Add to that the geographical challenges, the harsh winters, treacherous terrains, and the wide icy rivers. It's like nature and man have conspired to turn the border into an insurmountable obstacle. Well, no wonder that the DMZ is often referred to as the world's most dangerous border. Did you know in North Korea, privacy is a luxury few can afford? It's a world where your every move is watched, every word is monitored, and even your thoughts aren't your own. That's life in North Korea. The government has an extensive network of informants, and surveillance cameras are literally everywhere. Regular checks are conducted on citizens, and any sign of dissent or plans to escape are swiftly dealt with. Well, it's like living in a real-life dystopian novel, where Big Brother isn't just watching, he's watching all the time. This constant surveillance makes planning an escape a very dangerous task, as the slightest suspicion can lead to severe consequences. So, with the Big Brother always watching, the price of freedom is unimaginably high in North Korea. Those caught trying to escape face severe punishments. We're talking about torture, forced labor, and even executions. But the risk doesn't end with the person trying to escape. Under the guilt by association rule, their families can also be punished, adding another layer of fear and control. The government uses these harsh punishments as a deterrent, making people think twice before ever dreaming of escape. Here, an intriguing fact is that despite all these risks, over the last 60 years, more than 23,000 North Koreans have defected to South Korea, while only two South Koreans have moved to North Korea. Now, let's imagine you're in a video game, one where the stakes are not just high, they're real. You're on a mission, a mission to escape from the world's most secretive country. Your tools, your wits, your courage, and your indomitable spirit. Your obstacles, a heavily fortified border, a ruthless surveillance state, and the constant fear of being caught. Well, this isn't a game. This is the harrowing journey that North Korean defectors undertake. Despite the risks, they dare to dream of freedom. They navigate harsh terrain, evade border security, and live in constant fear. But with each step, they move closer to freedom, driven by the hope of a better life. Now, let's say some of them have escaped, but what does life hold for them outside North Korea? Now, escaping North Korea is just the beginning. For North Korean defectors, life outside their homeland is a mix of relief and struggle. They find themselves in a completely new world, where everything from the language to the culture is alien. They have to learn to navigate this new world, deal with the trauma of their past, and live with the constant fear of being sent back. Yet, they consider these struggles a small price to pay for their freedom. Now that we've talked about the journey and life after the escape, let's bring it to life with some real stories. These are the stories of people, well, who lived through the experiences we've discussed. First up, we have the story of a brave soul, David. When his father vanished one day without a trace, David was left in the dark. He wanted to find his father. A year later, he discovered his father had made it to South Korea but their phone call was tapped, leading to his mother being sent to a labor camp. David himself had to make a daring escape, crossing a frozen river to reach China. 
Next up, we have another story of a young boy, Sung Ju, who found himself alone on the streets of North Korea. Survival became a daily battle, with thieving, begging, and fighting becoming a way of life. Despite the fear of imprisonment and the gnawing hunger, Sung Ju found a new family and a group of street kids, his brothers. Then there are the stories of defectors who find themselves at the Hanawon facility in South Korea. This place is like a crash course in modern life, offering classes from cooking to clothes making. It's a lifeline for refugees, helping them adjust to a world that's technologically light years ahead of North Korea. Now, before we wrap up, we've got some interesting facts about North Korea that you might not know. Consider this a bonus for sticking with us till the end. Fact number one. You might be surprised to learn that in North Korea, marijuana isn't considered a drug and is legal. Fact number two. North Korea holds a unique record. Well, it's the only country to have captured a U.S. Navy ship and kept it. The USS Pueblo, Ager 2. Fact number three. North Koreans follow their own calendar, known as the Juche calendar, which starts from the birth year of their first leader, Kim Il-sung. Fact number four. The world's largest stadium isn't where you think it is. It's in Pyongyang, North Korea, and can seat 150,000 spectators. Fact number five. Did you know hair fashion isn't a personal choice in North Korea? There are 28 government-approved hairstyles to choose from. Fact number six. Did you know wearing jeans is considered illegal in North Korea? Yeah, I know, it's funny. Well, that's it for today. The stories of North Korean defectors are a reminder of the lengths people will go to for freedom. Their journey is fraught with danger, their new life filled with challenges, yet they persevere. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this issue? Do you have any questions or insights you'd like to share? Drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.